Hey guys, I'm Billy, and today I'm gonna to show you how to make Hot Pot. All right, so first step to Hot Pot, you gotta make your broth. So there are several ways you can make it. You can either use bone broth or some type of seafood stock. The easiest way is my friend here, the little sheep. Another thing I'm gonna add today is this seafood stock. I have no idea what it says, because I'm not Korean, uh, but there are pictures, so I'm just gonna give it a try. Um, so my husband is pescatarian, or puscatarian is what we like to call it. All right, your next step is to find your most expensive pot that you have, and you're gonna turn on the flame, and you're simply gonna add some water. All right, so as we wait for this to boil, we can prepare our vegetables, and also take some more shots. One for the cameraman and one for me. So this is Daisy Crown. It takes a very special person to like Daisy Crown. Are you that person? All right, these are called enoki mushrooms. They look like this. These are called bean sprouts. These you can see right here. You can eat these raw or boiled. I like it raw. Next thing I have here is called bok choy. First, you're gonna cut them and then wash them. Next thing I like in my hot pot is corn. I like corn because it makes your soup a little sweeter. That's it, only two corn. All right, I'm gonna use like three bags and it actually smells pretty good. So our next item on the list is Protein, and I have here soft tofu. My husband hates tofu, and I think it's because he's never had soft tofu. Soft things can be nice sometimes. All right, so what you're gonna do, you're gonna cut the box around the edges. Don't cut in the middle like a dumbass. Next thing on the protein list is obviously meat. And I have certified Angus beef here, and it says it's best for shabu shabu. Next thing on the protein list are Shrimp. I like shrimp with the head on because that's where most of the flavor is and it'll make your broth way more flavorful. Another thing that I like putting in here is swai fish. And I know you're gonna want carbs with your meal. So you can either have white rice or we like to use noodles. All you have to do is cook them in the broth. It'll absorb all the flavor and that's it. So there are different types of Little Sheep Hot Pot Soup Base, but we decided to go with this one and we'll show you what's inside. So I know I said I was Chinese, but I can't really read Chinese either. But I think this says small fat sheet. This bag is probably full of a lot of MSG. I know MSG has a bad rap, and if you don't put MSG, you're missing out on a lot of flavor. These are called goji berries. Um, these are actually really good for you. These are uh, soybean. I'm not sure what this is. Just put it in there. So for hot pot, you definitely want to pick up a double-sided burner pot thing because this side can be the meat side and this side could be the seafood side. And also some people, they like to do this side spicy and this side not spicy. Another thing that you can want to pick up is a hot pot burner. Sit around the table, enjoy hot pot with your family and friends, drink some sake. So while your broth is still boiling, I like to mix my own sauce. The sauce is for like um, dipping your meats, your tofu, your shrimp, your noodles. A sauce is a sauce. So I like to put ketchup, weird right? Sesame oil, soy sauce, vinegar, just some type of chili oil. Last but not least, garlic. You always want to have garlic in your sauce. When it comes to measuring, I let my ancestors tell me how much is the correct amount. So, yeah, they said stop right there. So I like to boil my soup on the stove first, and then when it's almost boiled, I transfer it to this pot. And when this is almost boiling, because it'll take a minute or so, I like to start adding my ingredients. Mmm, 
tastes so good. So that's it for today, and I hope you liked the video. Subscribe for more.